In this comparison we have two small SUV, Kia Kona EV versus Hyundai Niro EV. Good or bad we will found out in this comparison which is the best. The 2024 model marks the beginning of an all-new generation of the Hyundai Kona Electric. It's longer, wider, and uses a longer wheelbase to maximize its utility. A fresh new look makes the 2024 Kona Electric unmistakably different from the outgoing model. With wide-spanning LED headlights and taillights, the theme for the new Kona is pixels. Hyundai revealed specs on the 2024 Kona Electric, and at the time, the press release said the long-range version would have more than 300 miles of range. But that was on the European test cycle. Because the EPA is more conservative in its estimates than Europe is, we did some quick back-of-the-napkin math and guessed that when the range was announced for the US, it would be more like 260 miles. Turns out, we were right on the money. So the Kona EV isn't something you'll want to take on long road trips, but it should make a solid daily driver. And the long-range version beats other popular semi-affordable EVs, like the Chevrolet Bolt EUV with 247 miles of range, or the Nissan Leaf SV with 212 miles. Hyundai also estimates that with 400-volt fast charging you'll be able to recharge from 10 to 80% in a little less than 45 minutes. Oh, and the Kona EV also gets one pedal driving, but if you're willing to sacrifice range to presumably save a little money, there's also going to be a less powerful version that makes 133 horsepower and 188 pound-feet of torque. That version comes with a smaller 48.6-KWH battery that Hyundai says will give you 197 miles of range. Both will be front-wheel drive only. The Kona isn't electric only, though. If you like the Kona but don't want an EV, there will also be two internal combustion engine options. You'll be able to pick between a 2.0-liter four-cylinder that makes 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque, or a 1.6-liter turbo four-cylinder good for 190 horsepower and 195 pound-feet. And while the base engine uses a CVT, the turbo is paired with a more traditional eight-speed automatic. And unlike the electric version, all-wheel drive will be optional on gasoline-powered Konas. The new Kona Electric receives a massive improvement in fit and finish for the new generation. To elevate the subcompact EV from an eco-friendly feeling box, Hyundai opens up the interior space with a floating horizontal center pad to remove some of the division between front passenger seats. Ambient lighting also brings a little bit of moodiness and personalization to the cabin that helps illuminate the new Kona's fresh cockpit design. To stay competitive in the Pixel Wars, the new Kona Electric is outfitted with two 12.3-inch displays to handle vehicle info and infotainment. This new seamless unit replaces the previous generation's standard 8.0-inch touchscreen and is larger than the available 10.3-inch display. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will likely be standard equipment. Kia Niro is a family-friendly SUV that you can have as a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid or as a full-on electric car. In a way, you could almost say it's a bit like an all-you-can-eat vegan buffet. There's plenty of tasty food to choose from, but it's all environmentally friendly and eco-conscious, which should leave you with a satisfying warm, fuzzy feeling. Interestingly, both batteries are also found in the case of the Hyundai Kona Electric, a model presented in the spring at the Geneva Motor Show, with which the Nero is related, as a result of the fact that 51% of Kia's shares are owned by Hyundai. However, in the case of the Kona, the autonomy is greater in the case of the large battery pack, 470 km for the 64 kWh version. Anyway, this new version is far more attractive than the old one, which was a bit podgy around the edges. It now has sharper, bolder lines, and the two-tiered front end is pretty cool too. Inside, the cabin is much like that of the all-electric Kia EV6. There's two large infotainment displays, and the touchscreen housed in the center of the dash is available with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The interior upholstery, a lot of which is made from recycled materials, all feels nice and plush too. There's also loads of space in here, both front and back seat passengers will find the Nero more than comfy enough over longer journeys. That said, the larger Sportage SUV has even more room for loftier passengers. 
Out of the three variants, the EV version has the biggest boot, measuring 475 liters, while the full hybrid boot is 451 liters. The PHEV is a much less practical alternative though, with just 348 liters of space. It may be more expensive than the previous model, but Kia has given it more kit and made it more refined. Now, Kia has released some information about the zero emission version of the Nero. The Nero EV, as that is its name, comes equipped with a single electric motor. The unit develops 204 HP and 255 newton meters, enough to reach 100 km per hour in 7.8 seconds. The Koreans have installed a 64.8 kWh battery, which promises an autonomy of 463 km, WLTP. At a fast charging station, the 10-80% run takes 43 minutes. Kia also mentions that the new Nero EV has an aerodynamic coefficient of CD 0.29 and that it can tow up to 750 kg. The Kia Nero EV is expected to debut on the market later this year.